So this is an OG Tesla model Roadster. Model Roadster, that's what I'm gonna call it. And you can see the main differences is kind of just the luxuriousness, but we'll look at that in a second. So first we have the headlights and these are quite different than, you know, the standard Tesla headlights of today. Check it out on the glass of the headlights. I'm not sure if it's glass or if it's plastic, but you can see the Tesla, and I wonder if that is a part number. But you got the Tesla logo, the old Tesla logo with like the shield around it. You have the lights, you have the Tesla emblem. It looks to be PPL, so kudos on the owner to that. Yeah, look, look at those edges. So I think this is based on the old Lotus Elise, and that's kind of the body of this, but you can see the sides right here, the vents in the front, and that's just to feed into the battery right there. And I think these kind of go out of here and they totally do. So that's pretty cool. So those are functional to swoop air around the car, which is nice. I think this is more so for design up here. Oh wait, no, it's actually functional. You can see, I think these are like radiator fans right there. And so you have that exhausting out the hood right here, which makes sense. And then there's PPF, you can see where it ends. PPF on the mirrors too. So you have the side mirrors and I'm assuming you manually adjust them and they just have a mechanism where you can just move them around right there. This is our 2011 Tesla Roadster 2.5. It's the world's first all electric sports car. The original sticker price was $138,000. Man, how far have things changed? Total production was 2008 and 2012. And so that means 2,418 with 1,416 still being in the US. Yeah, we got the frame and body panels made by Lotus and then the electronics and everything are made by Tesla. And then you have the specifications of the exact specific vehicle here. So this one, you can see it's got a single windshield wiper, kind of like the Cybertruck. And you have that really curved windshield right there. Super Lotus. I mean, it is a Lotus basically. And then you have the glass right here which is pretty small. Same thing on the other side and then take a look on the inside. So you have your park, your neutral, reverse and drive right there. They're just buttons. You have your handbrake and emergency brake. I'm assuming those are butt warmers. It just has a single click for each side. They're butt, they're seat warmers right there. Yeah, heck yeah. Looks like it has a phone holder like right there too, right? This thing is sick. Right, it's so old school. The steering wheel is so small. And it's a Lotus too, so I mean, it's just built into the Lotus. It's crazy how different it is from modern Teslas. Like you have your small screen right there, you have a bunch of dials. You're sitting super low too. You got the Tesla mats, there you go. You got the side door panels. Oh yeah, huh, that's all suede back there. Carbon fiber up here. You have speakers by the headrest. They're like small bucket seats, super small. And then you have these lines, which kind of feed into events that go back here cool the battery and for normal test normal teslas today's teslas the batteries sit along the floor but this one's so low the seats are basically on the floor and so you have your high voltage lines going to or from the motor it's probably some data plug right there and this is the battery i'm assuming that is your coolant or your wiper fluid it could it could be the either or and yeah this is the tesla power pack so just really sit back here there's not really any coverage and that is your trunk space. I don't, you get no trunk, but you get a trunk. Though this is more of like a sub trunk space. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And then you can see it's basically charging right here. I mean, it's obviously not charging, but that's how it would be charging with a giant plug just sit right in there. Look, it's got little mud flaps right there. That's kind of cool. Mud flaps there and on the front, not on the rear, but you got reflectors on the sides and this is probably how it latches. And you got the tail lights as well. So a little circular Lotus tail light. This is such a Lotus car with some Tesla badgling and Tesla parts on the inside. And so yeah, guys, that is the original Tesla Roadster. What a wicked looking vehicle.